Well, hey there, everyone. It's Anthony, back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week month, evening, morning, overnight, all of that good stuff. Uh, today, we are out on a hike with the boy. Say hi. Hi. Um, yeah, we're up here on, it's called Limber Pine, Mule Deer, Mackinac, and Ridge Trail Loop. Um, this is a pretty long loop that goes around what they're calling the North, the Catamount Reservoir, North Slope Catamount Reservoir. And we're just outside of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Just taking a look at the map here, um, part of this trail or part of this hike is closed, but I didn't get a good understanding of where it's closed, where it's not closed. So I'm trying to decide if we should go right around the loop or left around the loop. Left around the loop butts up against the reservoir a lot more frequently, which I kind of want to do to get Apollo closer to the water, but I don't know how open or closed that is, but we're going to go for it and just give it a shot. But yeah, hi, I hope you're doing well. Um, it is Saturday at the time of filming this. Okay. I think this is right. Okay. And we want to do... According to all trails, we want to go this way, kind of back towards the road. So we're going to try it. We'll give it a shot. We'll see what this does to us. <laughs> we might have to turn around at a certain point. Um, but yeah. So yeah, it's Saturday, July, I think it's the 13th. And yeah, we're just out here getting some, some exercise. We uh, were anticipating a big heat wave in Denver today. Yesterday was actually hotter than it was today. Yesterday it got up to about 104, 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the high today was supposed to be right around 100. And I had to work yesterday, so we didn't get a chance to escape the heat. Did our best to keep cool. But today I was like, you know what? Let me get Apollo out. Let's go up in the mountains where it's a little bit cooler. It's in the mm, mid, low to mid 80s up here. So a decent amount cooler and there's a wonderful breeze coming through. So this is much nicer than, than roasting back down near Denver. Um, this will be a little bit nicer for the boy. So I figured we'll do this, get some exercise. Uh, we left late today. It's already... Um, almost 4 p.m., but I figured that would be nice because then as we're walking, it's going to just keep cooling down as the evening progresses. And, you know, it's summer, long days. So um, I figured even if we're hiking into the evening, we should still be okay. As long as my all trails is still working and I have battery, we'll be able to find our way back to the car. Um, I'm going to put a little chapstick on. Um, so yeah, I figured I'll just chat with you for a little bit, do kind of a life update, and then we might move into just doing a whip and jam with some music, depending on how long this goes. I will say I'm not super apt to chatting to too much today. I mean, I say that and then of course I'll talk your ear off, but I have the nastiest little cold sore right on the tip of my tongue, which makes it uncomfortable to talk too long. Um, trying to get it to go away. It's been around for a couple of days now. And then last night, which we'll talk about how my week has gone, uh, but last night I went out to dinner with Matt and Jackie, a couple of my friends, to this Chinese restaurant. Um, I guess it was kind of pan, pan Asian is what they call it. Come on, come on. And 
went to go take a bite of food and I just crunched down on the side of my cheek. And so I have that wound from <laughs> eating my own cheek and the cold sore. And so my mouth just feels kind of like swollen and uncomfortable. So, <laughs> so talking isn't my favorite thing to do. I filmed, a, I filmed an unboxing of Medi from Jaded Gem Shop and Alphonse Mucha um, when this cold sore really came to a head. And I feel like I was really short during, and probably sounded just uncomfortable during that, during that unboxing because I was like, okay, let's just get this done. My mouth hurts. My mouth hurts. And then I did a special edition unboxing of a couple of Diamond Dots kits, which I'll talk about here in a minute. Um, and again, I was like, my mouth hurts. My mouth hurts. I don't like this. <laughs> so I probably will hold off from doing more filming <laughs> until this thing heals up. But I did want to at least give you some life updates since we're here on this trail. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I hope things are going for, well for you. Um, and try to get to a spot where I can let Apollo off leash because he is extra sniffy right now. Um, we've already hiked uh, about half a mile into this trail but I'm gonna cut that part out because uh, it was uphill. So I was huffing, huffing and puffing and Apollo wants to sniff everything. So he was making me pull him up the hill. Come on, enough, enough. Making me pull him along and I'm like, Apollo, let's go. Like I'm already out of breath and we haven't even started because like every tree, every bush deserves really intense sniffing where I have to just pull him along. <laughs> so I'm like, let's get away from this barbed wire um, boundary so I can let him off leash because just let him go sniff. I'm like, get out of here. And he probably feels pretty cooped up because we haven't been doing too much off leash stuff. And then yesterday and the day before, well, I was uh, working from home it's just been so hot. So we've just been doing our neighborhood walks down to the creek and back so he can jump in the water and cool off, but he hasn't been off leash in a minute. Okay, get out of my hair. Go run, go on, go sniff everything. <laughs> just have to keep an eye out for people. Hi, hi baby. Um, so yeah, but yeah, it's been a few days at least, I think, since my last filming. I am so behind on editing because I just don't want to be in my house right now sitting stagnant, especially if I've been working in there all day because it's just so hot. So we've been like, as soon as work's done, we go down to the creek and just hang out down by the water and he swims and splashes around and I'll dip my toes in there and we just hang out down there because it's nice to be next to the water. So we've been doing that and then I get home, make some dinner or go grab some dinner, take like a cool shower and then blast my bed AC and that's that. So the, um, the idea of sitting in front of my computer for several hours to edit and upload just doesn't sound like fun. So I haven't been doing that, but I will do it tonight because I have, I think, three vlogs um, at the time of filming this that still need to go up and a whip and jam and two unboxings that are all filmed. I just haven't had the wherewithal to get them posted. So I'm really behind on, um, on getting stuff posted. I think I'm, I think the, the whip and jam that I need to put up is the oldest thing and that's from July 4th. So I'm like nine days behind on filming or on editing. So I feel bad, but just the prospect of sitting up in my room, which is like 85 degrees up there, trying to edit just does not sound like fun. So gonna get it done tonight. I'm hoping it cools off this evening. I'll set up shop downstairs in the AC and just go to town. Um, and get it all uploaded. So maybe I should, I'm also thinking maybe tomorrow, um, I might just make it a lazy day 
and just go find a coffee shop somewhere with like really good internet and air conditioning and just sit there all day and drink coffee and edit videos. That might, that might be what I do because then I can upload faster. Um, but yeah, come on, come on. Are you loving it? Are you loving it? Oh, this little boy. He's such a sweetheart. He has been, I don't know what it is. I've been extra, um, extra clingy to my dog recently, even more than I normally am. He's just been so patient in the heat and so sweet and cute and cuddly. And he's just been putting up with it without a fuss. He's just a very, he just is, he just is very calm, you know, he's not a fussy dog. And he's just been extra cuddly recently. And um, I've been hanging out more with my buddy Alex um, and his dog Maverick. And he's been just such a good best friend to Maverick and they've been getting along so well. And he's just is such a good dog. <laughs> And so I've just been really like, I've just every day, I'm like, thank you so much for picking me. And thank you so much for being my baby and extra lovey-dovey. And he's just, he, I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm not sure if he's becoming more of a, like an adult dog, you know, he's two and a half now. Um, but his little personality is just so sweet and loving and gentle. Come here, come here. I'm talking about you. Yeah. So I don't know, he's just, he's just adorable. He still gets feisty and wants to play keep away and stuff with me. Um, he did it the other night. We, we were at Alex's and he, like I said, he just loves hanging out with Maverick. And so um, we've been, I've been letting him out of Alex's house because Alex's house has a decent amount of property. And so we open the front door and it's just this giant front yard that butts up against a creek. And so I'll let him and Maverick out the front door and they just run around and romp and play. I'm not worried about him running into any streets or anything because there really isn't any streets, like major streets anywhere nearby. And so I just let him off to go run around and he'll follow Maverick around and they'll play. And then I'm like, okay, come inside or go into the backyard, which is fenced in. Um, and if Maverick goes, he'll go. But the other night, um, we let them out front because I was about to go home. Let them out front to play. And then Alex was like, okay, good night. I'm like, good night. I opened the car door. Maverick goes inside with Alex. And Apollo was like, I'm not leaving. I want to stay here with my friend. So he was playing keep away with me in the front property area of Alex's place and would not get in the car. Like I had the back door open. And this was probably around like 10 o'clock at night. So he's playing keep away with me and wants me to chase him around because he doesn't want to go home or get in the car. So I'm running around and I like, t I went to go grab him. You know, I thought I was going to get close enough to him. Of course, he didn't let me get him, but I just stepped um, towards the creek. There's like a little bit of a downhill. I didn't realize it because once again, it was dark out and I just stepped wrong and just completely jammed my ankle and knee. You know when you step like stiff-legged and everything just kind of locks up and all your bones and joints just smack together? Well, that happened. And oh, it made my ankle swell up a little bit. My ankle was hurting for like two days after that. The way I got him back into, in back on leash is um, Al, um, Alex didn't even know. He went to go take a shower right after I left because I had sent him a text. I'm like, uh, I'm still trying to get Apollo in the car. He didn't respond, but at a certain point, Maverick went outside because um, they have a dog door so he can go in and out as he pleases. So I noticed that Maverick was in the backyard. So I'm like, Apollo, look who's here. And so Apollo saw Maverick and ran over there to sniff him and I opened the back door gate that way Apollo could go in the backyard with Maverick. So Apollo goes in there and is romping around and, you know, trying to start playing. But he didn't realize that he was now locked in the backyard because it's fully fenced. So I was able to trap him in the backyard and get him on his leash. And the poor guy, he knew he was in trouble for playing keep away. So he had his head all down and he was like, you know, like, oh gosh, dad's going to be mad. And I just didn't have it in me to like 
scold him or anything. I was just like, come on, let's go get in the car. And he was like sulking back to the car. I was like, you're fine. I get it. You don't want to leave your best friend. <laughs> um, so that was pretty cute. Cute but annoying. Okay, looks like we're going to follow the road here for just a moment. Or we're going to follow along the road the entire time. We'll see. But we just need to keep an eye out for vehicles. Make sure we turn the right way. Yes, looks like we did. Um, so yeah, we're just, just living life. Work's going good. Kept me busy uh, Friday or yesterday, I guess. Um, it was one of those Fridays that happens once in a while where everybody needs something. I'm done at three on Friday. Everybody reaches out to me and is like, we need this done ASAP. Can we get this done as soon as possible? We need to move quickly on this at like 2.45 on Friday. And I'm like, eh. it happens, I'd say, once every couple months on a Friday where everyone just gets a wild hair and becomes very demanding <laughs> at the, my last 15 minutes of work. So I worked for an extra couple of hours yesterday. Um, but... I did have time to go floating, which I normally don't get to do, uh, tubing, floating down the river with my friends. So I had enough time to take Apollo for a good walk. And then a bunch of my friends met up at our house and we went tubing together yesterday evening, which was a lot of fun. Um, if I ever feel confident enough to hold the action camera while I'm tubing, then I'll bring you along. But. I kind of hold on for dear life the whole time, and I have a feeling I'd lose the camera or accidentally let it go. So I don't think I'll do that, but maybe. Um, and then I had just enough time to get home, change real quick, and then go meet up with Jackie and Matt for dinner, which was nice. Let's see if this is the trail, or is this just a washout? Is this just a washout? Yeah, this just looks like where the water was coming. Um, so yeah, and now here we are. <laughs> but other than that, I, I like I said, I have filmed a couple of vlogs. I did one just life catch-up vlog earlier in the week. And I think I did a, at least one or two responding to your comments videos. But they're all just sitting on the memory card waiting to be edited. I just haven't had the the wherewithal to do that. So tonight's the night or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. One of the two. Has to be one of the two. <laughs> Need to get some content posted. <laughs> At a certain point, just filming and talking without posting anything starts to feel a little silly because it's like, okay, if you're never going to upload these, then what are you doing? <laughs> <sighs> What do you think, baby boy? Come here. Come here. Hi, love bug. Hi, baby. Let's just make sure we're on the right path here. Um, maybe. Oh, we're a lot farther along than I thought. Yeah, at a certain point we'll turn away from the road it seems and then head down towards the the lake or the reservoir but yeah um other life stuff nothing really <laughs> nothing really just working this week hi baby are you happy are you happy with your situation today? Is this better than laying and panting in the kitchen in front of the swamp cooler? Huh? Huh? You're such a cute boy. Come here. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Let's go, 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 go. <laughs> um, yeah, just trying to beat that heat. Um, what else? What else? 
that's really about it. I need a haircut. <laughs> but I'm going to wait a little bit longer, I think, until the sides grow out some more. My, I've been cutting the sides really short, and they do like an undercut, and then I've been leaving the top the same length to get long and curly. And this is definitely the longest my hair has been potentially ever in my entire life. If not ever, there is one other time that I really let it grow out in like 2008. Um, 2008, nine, I think. Maybe a little bit later. No, it must have been later. Maybe 2011, we'll say that. Um, that I had it really long and then I shaved it bald. And I haven't let it grow out like that since. So it's hot. This is usually when I would want to shave it in the height of summer because my hair is pretty thick, knock on wood, <laughs> but it just gets really hot. But when I pull my curls straight, um, they come down to about my nose now, maybe like right, maybe to the tip of my nose, maybe a little bit shorter. So yeah, the longest it's ever been, or potentially, but yeah, I'm just, I'm sweating up a storm. I have my sun hat on right now and ugh, it's already hot under there. Trail closed ahead. Well, let's, let's just see. Let's just keep going and we'll see. And if that really is the case, then we'll flip around and go the other way. <sighs> but yeah, uh, other than that, <laughs> I honestly don't have, oh, here we go. North Slope Recreation Area Mule Deer Trail. So we can turn off here. Apollo, uh-uh, easy, I hear a vehicle. Stay, stay. There we go. Let's get off here. Just to make sure we're doing the right thing here. Yep, that's, this is the turn off that all trails says to take. Okay, let's get a little bit away from the road in case there are vehicles. And then I'll unclip ya again. Um, so yeah, it's beautiful up here. You can see Pikes Peak straight ahead. That's 14,100 and something feet. You can barely make out the visitor center. At least I can from where I'm standing. We almost went up there today. I might do that. I'm gonna have to do that on another trip. Um, we almost went up there today, but they do a reservation system. Um, so you go onto their website and select what time you're planning on arriving and you can get there between X and X time window. But I just wasn't sure exactly when we were gonna make it down here this morning. Like I said, we were kind of being lazy. Um, so I, I just I was like, I don't really wanna select a time and then for some reason we miss it or I change my feelings about going. So I was like, we'll go another day when I'm like dead set on going and I leave earlier in the day. Um, so we ended up just picking to do this instead. Um, the other thing with that drive is there are some trails on the way up, but they're all rated as pretty hard and they're all out and back, meaning you go back the same way that you came in. And if I get to pick, I prefer doing a loop trail so we see something new the entire time. Um, this one is technically a loop, but with the trail closures that they're mentioning, we may have to just go back the way we came. Isn't that pretty? Look at all those trees. Oh, nature. Do you love it, Apollo? Um, but yeah, I usually like to pick a loop hike I can and one with near water if I can I tend to be really picky about the types of hikes we go on I'm like there needs to be a, a creek or a lake or a waterfall it needs to be a loop and it needs to be dog friendly and those those other hikes up Pikes Peak are dog friendly but there's not any water they're all out and back and they're all rated as pretty difficult so I probably wouldn't be able to talk very much because I would be huffing and puffing the whole time um, so, 
But we will go because just from a vlogging standpoint and a take you around Colorado standpoint, I do want to take you up to the top of there. That's the only 14er, which, which means a, a mountain with an elevation higher than 14,000 feet above sea level. That's the only one in Colorado that's drivable. That's the only one that you can drive to the very top of. So I do want to take you up there because it's really cool. You know, you go past the tree line. Um, if there's low-lying clouds, you can actually look down on the clouds. It's really cool. Um, so I do want to take you up there, but from a will Apollo enjoy it standpoint, it's just going to be a lot of in the car, you know, just a lot of driving. Um, we'd obviously get out to do a, a hike or something, but there's just there's not a lot of longer, more enjoyable hikes for him necessarily. And it's all, um, that whole drive up to Pikes Peak is run by the city. So there's like a gate, you pay for your pass, you know, your reservation, you go up. So it is heavily managed by like city rangers and stuff. So it's not the type of place, and it's very touristy. So it's not the type of place that I can just, like we're at, we are down here, unclip Apollo and just go to town. Like he'll need to be on leash, closely watched the whole time because there's lots of people up there. Sir, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he needed this, and I think I needed this too. I'm cute boy. Hi, cutie butt. <sighs> so yeah, I've got my headphones in my backpack so I can put on some podcasts if we get to that point. Um, what else? Oh, um, I guess we can talk diamond painting stuff. Might as well, right? Since we're here. Um, as far as projects go, um, Inner Garden by You May Art in Diamond Art Club is kitted up, not started. And then I have, what is it? I have my cross stitch conversion, no progress on that. I have my custom of Apollo, no progress on that. And then I have um, a question of reality from Christopher Lavelle in Diamond Art Club, no progress on that. And then I have um, Spring, right? Is that right? Spring, yes, from uh, Distracted by Diamonds and Alphonse Mucha. And that one, I just finished, I finished my first row and now I'm, oh, I think I'm now about halfway through my second row on that. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Now that I have more done and I can really take a good look at the rendering, it's fine, but it's still not what I want. And I think that doesn't necessarily come down to the rendering, like how Distracted by Diamonds rendered it necessarily. It's just the, it's, the, there's a pretty big lack of definition and it's really noticeable on the border. You know those Alphonse Mucha Seasons panels have a decorative border around them with some kind of cool kind of Art Nouveau pattern. Um, whether it be little arrows or this and that, like the, it's all bordered. Um, and the other two seasons that I've done from Diamond Painting Shop are hand charted. So that border in the definition is really clear. But on this one, it's just the computer didn't render those clear lines. So this one has an editing Anthony, if you can remember to insert, uh, insert some images just for reference for everybody. Um, come on. Um, the border has these arrows that Muka has painted these like kind of decorative arrows and they're very clear in the original image and they're just, you know, arrows going up the sides and across the top and on the distracted by diamonds rendering they're very blurry you can't really make out that they're supposed to be arrows it just kind of looks like different colors kind of scattered different colors around the border which is kind of a bummer but 
The subject, the actual female subject in the painting looks pretty clear. It's just, yeah, it's just muddy. It's just a muddy rendering, uh, very highly computer rendered, which again, I don't always have a problem with, but for whatever reason, it's just not working. It's just not working. Um, the thing that's going to keep me going with this project is just the feeling of I've already, you know, I've already bailed on one Distracted by Diamonds Mooka kit, and at least the color charting on this one looks okay. Like, it's not, it, it looks fine. The color charting looks fine, and the drills seem to be, are, are a lot better. Not seem to be, but they are a lot better. Um, I did confirm that they are acrylic, even though they're a little bit more faceted than, um, than some other acrylics, acrylics I've used. And there is a little bit of shape difference depending on the DMC, but it's not as drastic as it was on Primrose. So it looks better. I think it's probably from the same manufacturer if I had to guess, but this, this kit just has better quality drills, in my opinion, more consistent drill shape and style. And, um, and the color charting seems to be a lot better. Um, but the actual rendering itself, once again, I think this is just speaks to a high computer rendering without any human touch-ups or cleanup. The border just kind of looks muddy. Some of the color transitions are a little bit weird um, and, and throw me off a little bit, but it's not so, so much that I, that I think I'm gonna quit. But I did go on the uh, Diamond Painting Shop website to look at their version of Spring and that rendering. And I'm like, this look, that looks so much better. That looks so much more like what I want. <laughs> that I, there was a minute there where I was like, am I gonna quit on this kit too and just buy, and just buy the other two seasons from, Distra uh, from Diamond Painting Shop? Because that's really, for me, that hand, render, hand rendering is what I want to see from these Mooka Seasons panels for whatever reason. And it may just be because I've already finished two of them, so I'm used to it. And the, cons the consistency of those two is really good and the really clearly defined details and, you know, the hand rendering of it all. For whatever reason, I really like on these Seasons panels and I'm not getting that from spring now, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep picking at it. I'm not gonna have it finished by the end of Summer with the Masters. I'm not gonna have a finished project for Summer with the Masters, unfortunately, um, but I am gonna keep working on it and maybe I'll just do it until it's done, hang it up, and if I'm not happy with it from like a viewing distance, then I'll get the one from diamond painting shop, do it again at some point in the future, and then just swap them out on the, in the hallway. Um, I think that's what I want to do. Who knows? I might get further along in this project and run into, you know, more egregious rendering issues and decide to quit again. But I really don't want to do that. Like, I just, I feel like a jerk. I feel like a jerk for, and it feels wasteful, you know, but that's, that is what it, that's, it, it is what it's, you know, I, I just don't know. It, it, it's not, I think at the end of the, and at the end of the day, see, I'm tripping up on my words because my tongue is hurting. Um, at the end of the day, I like the diamond painting shop rendering of these seasons panels far better especially since I've already completed two of them. They're just cleaner, they're crisper, the details just work out. Um, the one that I'm working on right now is just, seems muddy and blurry, especially when you look at that border. I'm just like, what the heck is this, you know? Which kind of sucks. Um, let's see what we're meant to do here. Um... According to this, if we go this way, it's a dead end onto like a little peninsula. Should we go check it out? Let's see how downhill it is, because I can see the lake now and we're high above it. Easy. Stay with me, baby. Um, so yeah, it sucks. 
Um, it makes me want to start pulling my other Distracted by Diamonds kits that I own out of my stash and take a real hard look at them and see how I feel about the renderings and take a take a close eye at the drills and make sure that they're ones that I would want to do. <laughs> I just, I hate saying that, but yeah, it's just, the, it's just, I'm having a tough time. I'm having a tough time with those renderings. So we'll see. Hope is not lost, but um, yeah, I, I just, just not, I'm not, I haven't found a knock out of the park project from that shop um, this year yet, unfortunately. So yeah, but we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see what happens. Baby boy, come on. Even my whistle sounds weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then my last whip would be Inspiration Peak from Eau Claire Studio. And, uh, oh my gosh, Diamond Art Club. <laughs> and that one I've made a lot of progress on. I've been mainly focusing on that kit, to be completely honest. And that one, Apollo. Let me clip you up, baby. Come here. Apollo. Come here, sweetheart. I don't know what's at the end of this. Come here. Let me clip you. Let me clip you. Stay right here, baby. Stay. Easy. Well, okay. Um, I've been working on that the most just because it's old reliable, you know? <laughs> And it moves quickly, which is nice. Ooh, yeah, I want to get down. If we can get down to the water here. That way this boy can can run around and play. Um, yeah, it, it's moving really quickly. It's got a lot of color blocking. And it has a bunch of specialty drills because I just dumped pretty much all of my extra specialty drills that I had into that. And so it's a lot of fun working with specialty drills, obviously. So um, I'd say I'm probably about 60%, 70% done with that kit. I have a feeling I'll probably finish it in the next week or so. So I will film a finish and review for you once I have one. Um, but yeah, I will say that I went a little wild with all of the enhancements because I didn't even look at where they would go on the canvas. I was just like, that color's close enough and I think I have enough. I'm just going to throw them in there. And so there's a couple areas where I'm like, oh, that looks a little weird, but it still comes together just fine at the end of the day. And the other thing is, as I was working on it, some of the enhancements I had wrote, I had put a little lowercase c on the bottle, meaning I didn't think I had enough to do the whole thing, so I wanted to checkerboard that with the original DMC that was provided, so I would put a C there. Okay, you ready? This is like ultimate run and play in the in the water. Go, go, go! Isn't this beautiful with Pike's Peak in the background? This is fantastic. Look at him. Look at my little water dog should get some pine cones for him to fetch. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that being said, I got to my first couple of containers of that. I was like, do I really want to checkerboard these? I think I have enough. And so I ended up just using all enhancements instead of checkerboarding. And now I've gotten to the point where I'm like, ooh, I'm probably am going to run out of this color of enhancement. So I think I'm just going to use it until it's gone and then go get it go get it <laughs> ready you ready go go get it <laughs> he's like yeah i'm not swimming dad <laughs> um hold on let me try getting a stick you ready you ready go 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 get it! Go, go, go! Get it! <laughs> go get it! You remember! Go get it! Come on! 
Go get it. Go get it. Go, go, go. Go get it. <laughs> All right, I won't force you to swim if you don't want to swim. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna use these enhancement drills until they're gone. And once they're gone, then I will just switch over to the old D, the, you know, the regular DMC that was charted. And that might once again, make it look a little funky, but I mean, I, the style of that artwork has a lot of really like, you know, just a lot of color transitions and kind of, you know, interesting, um, interesting color transitions. So I don't think it's going to take away from the image and I'm just having fun with this one. And really it's kind of like, I'm just using up all of my extra enhancement drills project. So I'm like, eh, whatever. I don't think anyone's going to notice and it might look a little strange, but it's not the end of the world. Would I do that? Would I do the exact same thing again? No, I'd either purchase enough enhancement drills to be able to do the whole thing or not enhance as much as I did, but whatever, I'm having fun, so <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And then as far as, it's getting a little steep over here for me. What? Get it. Get it. Good boy. Go, go, go. This water is super clear. It's kind of weird looking. You can see so far down into it. What? 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 <laughs> go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Get in there! <laughs> That's what we needed. We needed this energy release. <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> go, 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 go! <laughs> Good boy, come on. <laughs> this was awesome. We're definitely uh, remembering. I'm gonna save this this trail because it's. I mean, you can see there's no one out here. There was like three cars in the parking lot, and the trail goes around this entire reservoir, and I'm not seeing a single person. <laughs> I think the total loop was like 11 miles. Come on. <laughs> Go, go, go! This is what we needed. Come on, come on! <laughs> Get in there. Get in that water. Go, go, go! <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I've been working on is those projects. And um, other than that, um, you know, I've been talking about not purchasing diamond paintings. Well, I broke that. <laughs> um, I... Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the diamond dots uh, stuff. So Katie over at Diamonds and Washi, whom I'm co-hosting some of the masters with, um, she reached out to diamond dots because they had been tagging us in some summer with the masters posts that they were putting up. And so they were tagging us in a couple of them. And I was like, do you think that they'd be interested in being a sponsor? Or maybe she said that she's like, I don't know. Let me reach out to them. So she reached out to Diamond Dots and they wanted to um, sponsor the event, but they wanted to do kind of like a, a different giveaway. So they proposed the idea of giving away um, three kits on Instagram and they would take care of all the shipping, including international um, shipping, which was awesome. So um, she worked with them. They decided they wanted to give away three of the Great Wave off Kanagawa from Hokusai. And people can pick between a round drill. Come here, come here. <laughs> get it, get it. Good boy, yeah, good boy. Good boy, come here. Was that deep? Good boy, yeah. Can I see that? He's like, nope, I worked for it. Hi. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie butt. Hi. <laughs> um, 
Um, so, so yeah, so she worked that out with them and then she had um, already finished the round drill version for this year's event. Um, and then she got the square drill version, she purchased that. So she did a video yesterday at the time of filming this um, showing the differences between the round and the square drill and announced the giveaway over on Instagram that Diamond Dots is doing. And so that was kind of that. And then she's like, well, let me forward you the email chain so you're in the loop because I didn't know any of the details about this giveaway or anything. I was just, you know, whatever. Whatever they're willing to offer is awesome. And so she sent me the email chain and I was like, maybe I'll go and get that kit as well so I can announce this giveaway on my channel too. Um, that way people are in the loop over on this side. You ready? You ready? Go! Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> How cold is this water? Oh, that's really cold. That's cold. <laughs> You're so cute. Yes. Um, so I went over to Joanne. Um, Joanne. <laughs> Joann's, Joanne, whatever you want to call it. And they had a really good sale on their diamond paintings um, this week. Um, so I got them both for half off. I got the Great Wave off Kanagawa in square. And then I also got Cypresses by Van Gogh in round. And I got them both for like 45 bucks. And so I filmed an unboxing of those and gave the details of the giveaway. And I'll be editing that. Um, I'll be editing that when I get around to editing stuff today or tomorrow. Let me take a picture of this boy in the water. What? What? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> go, go, go! Are you loving it? <laughs> Are you loving it out here? This is why I want to live on, the, like, on a lake or something, because he just, he just goes wild. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. You ready? You ready? Ready? Go get it. Go, go, go. Good boy. Yeah. I saw those little paddles. I saw those little paddles. Good boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. What an what what an awesome awesome little little area. This is fantastic. Um I see a couple of hikers way off in the distance. Someone's wearing a red shirt way out there. Get the stick. Go get it. Do you see a fish or something? What was it? He hears something. What is it? You look concerned. Come here. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, go get the stick. Go get it. Go get it. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I ended up buying those two kits. Give me that. Give me that stick. Um, I got those two kits, and so I'll, I'll upload that. I'll try to get that up tonight. The contest runs until the 31st of July, so I've got some time. And honestly, it was kind of Katie's deal. She was working with them and emailing back and forth. I feel like a little bit of a hanger-on by doing it, but I wanted to share the contest uh, information since they are one of the sponsors on my channel as well in some way. And it gave me an excuse to buy two diamond paintings <laughs> at a good price, at a good price. So that happened, and of course that broke the no buy. I was like, well, I guess we're just going all in. And um, and so Diamond Art Club got me. They got me good this week because they re-released their version of Starry Night by Van Gogh in a much larger size with a lot more colors and more enhancements. So when that got announced, I was like, well, I think I'm gonna have to get this. It's an old masters, it's a big one. The rendering looks fantastic, um, you know, all of that good stuff. So I was like, well, I guess I'm getting a, getting a Diamond Art Club. And I was like, let me just use my points and just really go all in. So I ended up getting, I got Starry Night um, by Van Gogh. So it's an 86.9 by 69.9 centimeter square with 79 colors. Holy moly. 
um, one AB, three iridescent, which is exciting, and two fairy dust, and one electro. So they really went all out with enhancing an old master. So I'm very curious to see how that's going to work up. Um, so I got that. I had to get that. And then I got some more double sided um, diamond painting release paper. I got their new diamond painting storage organizer, the 54 container storage organizer. And then I got Scarlet Macaw because it's a round drill and it was super colorful. It's been on my wish list because I was like, ooh, I'd love to enhance that. Um, I don't have a bigger picture of it because I just took a screenshot of my purchase, but there it is. Let me tilt you down a little bit. So there it is. It's kind of cut off, but Scarlet Macaw 56 by 71 centimeters. It's got 53 colors and six ABs. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see that one. I almost, uh, I was like, maybe I'll do another comparison video with that one because that one looks like something that would be fun to do a comparison with. So I almost got two and I was like, meh, do it once. And if you like it, it comparison, get it again. Um, Apollo this way. So I just got the one and then I got Zodiac from, come here, from Alphonse Mucha. Um, and that's a 70 by 93 centimeter square with 41 colors, including four ABs. And what I think I'm gonna do with that over the course of the next year or so is I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get the Jaded Gem Shop one and see what that looks like. And then if, if I make it to that stage and I'm still wanting to do more, um, Diamond Painting Shop also has a Zodiac. So it'd be really cool to do a comparison between all three, especially since Jade has a hand-charted version. Come here. Ready? Go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Get it! Get it! Good boy! <laughs> Good boy! Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe that'll be something for Mooka Mania 2025. <laughs> is to compare those three, who knows. But I'm at least starting with the Diamond uh, Diamond Art Club one. So I have that, and then I got Lost Oasis, and that's a 65 by 91 centimeter square with 68 colors, two ABs and two fairy dusts. Give me that, give me that stick. <laughs> um, that one's been on my wish list for a while. It looks, it just looks beautiful. And it's another one of those kind of green, green hues. Apollo, you ready? This way. He's in full keep away mode now, so I gotta try to keep his attention. Apollo, come get it. Ready? This way. Apollo. Ready? Go, go, go. Go get it. Go get it. Go, go, go. Go on. Go, go, go. Go get it. You can do it. Go on. <laughs> you want a different one? I've got to like ease him out there. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I love you. I love you. You ready? Ready? Good boy, good boy, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Okay, let's get another one, come on. Come here, come here cutie boy. He's like, no, you're gonna take away my stick. I wish that he wouldn't eat them. Like, that's his thing is he knows he's not supposed to eat them. So then he's like, look what I'm doing. I'm being bad. Give me that stick. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, in the course of a couple days, ended up getting, what, six diamond paintings. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Now that I've used my my rewards points up because I took a, I was able to take a hundred bucks off of that purchase, which was nice. Now that I've used all my rewards points, 
now I really shouldn't buy anything. <laughs> but I wanted to get that starry, the starry night, because I've never owned that before as a diamond painting, and I feel like that's one that a lot of people get, and it's kind of like a rite of passage kit. Um, so I wanted to get that, and then I had Zodiac on my wish list because I didn't, I really liked Diamond Art Club's rendering of that. Um, their hand charting style doesn't always work super well with uh, Mukas, but that one looked pretty good. And then Lost Oasis has been on my list and Scarlet Macaw. Ready? Apollo, come here. You ready? Hold on, hold on. You ready? Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Good boy. <laughs> okay, come back. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, you didn't get it, but you almost got there. Look at him. Look at him, little swimmer. He's like a little tugboat. It makes me, it makes me, um, it makes me nervous seeing him do that by himself. Cause last time he swam, I was in the water with him. So there's like, you know, part of me there for a minute is like, okay, you might need to go rescue your dog, you know? So now I'm like, okay, maybe I should put the backpack down just in case I need to jump in there and get him. But he made it back. Good boy, come here. Come here, good boy. Yeah, you're really swimming. You ready? Okay, okay, okay. You ready? Uh -uh. Get in there. Get in there. Go, go, go. Good boy. Good boy, get it. He's good boy. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Yes. He did it. He did it. He's swimming. All right. You get treats. You get all the friggin' treats you want. Oh, how cool my little boy's growing up. <laughs> he looks, look at how skinny he looks with his fur all, <laughs> all wet. Oh my gosh, you are just the king. Oh my gosh, you can't, you don't even know how many treats you're gonna get right now. Hell yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, get them. Mmm, minnows, yum. <laughs> Look at his giant head compared to his little bod. <laughs> you're all fur. Yeah, you're all fur. Good boy, good boy. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, um, I, I that's really everything I have for you, um, to be completely honest. <laughs> that's everything I have. Um, I want to play with my boy and get him to keep swimming since he's comfortable doing it without me in there. And so I'm gonna let you go and we'll just switch over to music and you can watch us do swim practice, but I'm gonna enjoy this this time. You ready? Come here, come on. Hold on, hold on. You ready? Go. Go, go, go. Good boy. Good boy. Oh my gosh. Who would've thunk? <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this time playing with him, and I'm just going to put on a podcast or something, and we're going to do this for <laughs> as long as we can. And then, um, yeah, I'll just put some music behind this. But thank you so much for coming along. I hope you enjoy me gushing over my little brat and watching him eat wood and go fetch. And, uh, yeah, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Hope you're staying cool and safe, especially those in Texas. And uh, we'll, we'll talk again real soon, okay? Um, I'm just going to switch over to music, so we'll, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.